In this lesson, I would like to introduce you to the terms site and situation. They're very important for analyzing different phenomena in geography, ranging from all the different subfields, economic geography, urban geography, health geography, political geography, and the analysis of conflict. Site refers to the characteristics of a particular location that are intrinsic to it. For example, a location might be along a river or along a sea. It could be forested or it could have certain kinds of soils and it has a very specific climate. In contrast, situation refers to the characteristics of a place relative to something else. It includes taking context into account, including both spatial and temporal context. A location may be a border region on the edge of an empire. Maybe its position on the coast makes it a natural harbor for certain kinds of ocean-going vessels. The forest may be an ideal timber for shipbuilding. The region next to it may be experiencing a civil war, a famine, or a drought, and this might mean that refugees from that area will be moving into this one. So site, again, is formed by things that are intrinsic to a particular location, whereas situation is defined relative to other locations. Spatial and temporal context is taken into account. So sight does not change, or at least changes rather slowly and infrequently. Changes of situation can at times be very fast, very dynamic, and very fluid. New things are happening every day, and they affect not only the places where they occur, but also the places around them. Think about how the Russian annex of Crimea changed the situation of those surrounding areas. One major factor that changes situation is technology. As new technologies are developed, the situation can change dramatically. For instance, many of the territories of many of the states of the Middle East have always been located over potentially vast oil reserves. That has to do with their site. That's just a fact of the physical geography. Under these areas happen to be these oil reserves. However, that didn't automatically always translate into wealth because there wasn't always a use for that oil. Prior to the invention of the combustion engine, there just wasn't a whole lot that you could do with it. You know, like for example, whale oil was used for lighting, but we really didn't start using a whole lot of petroleum until we had the combustion engine. But once that combustion engine was developed, suddenly oil became extremely valuable and many of those states became very wealthy because of it. So this was a change in their situation. Technology changed and then their situation changed. Technology often makes resources more accessible as well. So for instance, an oil reserve which could not be accessed using the technology of the 1930s might become very accessible using today's technology. Suddenly being able to access a resource that you hadn't been able to previously can represent a major change in one situation or cause a major change in one situation. A particularly fun example about site and situation uh, that's frequently used is beach property in Florida. It used to be that you couldn't give Florida beach property away, okay, because it was so hot. It was very cheap. No one wanted it. So as a result, you know, you used to be able to go on a beach trip and stay for free. Grocery stores and shops would establish their own little mini motels and then let you stay there for free, but the catch was that if you were staying there, you had to do all of your shopping at their grocery store. But then we had a technology change. Air conditioning was invented and the situation of beachfront property in Florida uh, dramatically changed. Suddenly it's something that's in high demand. Beachfront property is now extremely valuable and your spring break vacation down to Florida is no longer something you can do for free. If you're thinking about geopolitics and strategy, consider the effects of long-range bombers, rockets, and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Suddenly the situations of many different locations dramatically changed. Places that had once been far from the front of potential fighting became vulnerable to devastating attack that could occur in even the opening minutes of the outbreak of a war. London was in this situation when it suddenly found itself within range of the Luftwaffe and the V-2 rockets during World War II. The people of London were used to being at a remove from European wars because the English Channel had kept armies out of the British Isles for centuries. But then technology changed their situation, and they had to adapt 
to something that they weren't used to uh, encountering and being exposed to. It can take time to adapt to new situations. And sometimes, with the increasingly rapid increase and change in technology, situations can often sound uh, or feel like they're changing much faster than we can adapt to. Also, when thinking about war and conflict, you often hear people talk about places that are strategic or that are strategically significant. Well, what does that mean? It has to do with the area's situation. A place may be naturally defensible, which probably has more to do with its site than its situation, at least uh, relative to a given set of weapons technology. But just because some point, some location, can be easily defended, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's necessarily a strategic location. The strategic importance of a place is largely determined by its situation. A naturally defensible place in the middle of an area no one wants to be is not strategic, but places that enable movement and control of areas very often are strategic. Is it a location that controls access to important regions or transportation networks such as waterways, a bridge that allows passage over an otherwise uncrossable river from one region to another may be strategic whether or not it is easily defensible. In fact, being a strategic location may be a reason to fortify a location if it's not fortified already. You can often see that strategic situations have changed if you've ever traveled across Europe and seen the ruins of old castles. You're seeing the effect of changing situations on the landscape. Certain locations had been strategic in the past, so people fortified them. But as situations changed, either due to technology or other political factors, some of these places lost their strategic nature, were abandoned, and the fortifications fell into decay. When you see sites that have maintained their strategic significance for a long time, you often notice that the fortifications are an amalgam of those from different historical eras because the site has maintained its, its significance and so fortifications have been increasingly expanded upon, built up over the years, also to help uh, resist increases or changes in weapons technology. So you can see that change in the landscape. So whereas characteristics that make up sight are difficult to change, the factors that make up one's situation can be changed by both internal and external factors. For example, you frequently hear politicians in the United States speak about energy independence and developing other energy resources in order to reduce the influence of the oil-rich states of the Middle East. If that were to happen, that would certainly be an external factor that would change the situation of the Middle East. So that's an important point. Your situation not only depends upon you and your efforts, but potentially the efforts of those external to you as well. So all of the factors that go together to make up your situation may not be completely under your control. So if you're thinking about this in terms of determinism and possibilism and probabilism, then you might think about sight as those things that are largely determined by your environment. Situation, at least the parts which are under your control or the control of other people, whether you're internally trying to change your situation or someone's trying to externally change it, that's where your own intelligence, human ingenuity, and initiative plays a role in changing your situation.